All right. I think it, it says we're preparing, but I think we are live. Yeah, because usually we are live when we don't think we yeah. are. Yeah. So. so hi. Welcome, everyone, to Hurley's Hind Died on YouTube. Let me just make sure all the sound is off where it needs to be over here. Okay. And live oh. chat. Okay. Yeah, and there's a little bit of a delay, so that's okay. So if you're here, please say hello and welcome to Hurley's Hand Dyed Podcast on YouTube. I am Amber from Amber's Craft Place on Instagram and Facebook and Tumblr and Sanity on TikTok. And I am Donna from Crystal Skies Hand Dyed on Etsy, Instagram and Facebook and Crystal Skies Handmade on Etsy and Facebook. Um, I mean, Etsy and Instagram. <laughs> yes, and Instagram. Yes. So, so if you're here, come in and say hi. Mm -hmm. This is supposedly going to be the busiest weekend of the christmas hall season i know because christmas is exactly one week from yeah, today it's on a saturday so you can't show up next weekend for christmas you have to do it all this weekend yeah. and then being after the 15th of the month a lot of people got paid so they're out there spending their money yeah. i'm glad i am Jen. i did easy stuff this year i'm almost done i knit everybody a hat <laughs> You don't ah, knit though. Don't knit. You don't knit. I was going to knit or uh, crochet. I found these cute little bookmarks. I was going to crochet for all my witches and wizards. And I thought, oh, that would take so long. Even though she said it only takes an hour to two hours to do one. But, but I still have you to get do 20 40. of them. <laughs> like it, the time adds up. Yeah. So I bought something instead for my club. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway. So well, if you're here, please do make sure you comment and let us know you're here. Come, um, come that's one of the hi. great things about our podcast is we can talk and answer any questions and have conversation. So anyway, so. but how okay. was your week? I guess we go into that. Okay. Do you want to do yours first? No, do yours. Because yours, yours is shorter. More. Okay, we'll do mine. I don't know if I want to show all my stuff for mine now or show that later. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, my week was um, my... Um, Mr. What do I call it? The December Monthly Mystery Mini Skiing Club has That's finished a mouthful. for December. I know. And <laughs> it'll be out in the mail if you're in that. It'll be out in the mail on Monday. You excuse me, probably won't get it till after Christmas, maybe the Monday after Christmas. Who knows? Sometimes some of you that live closer might get it before then. And so I worked on that. And then this coming week, I'll be working on, well, after Christmas, I'll be working on the the Harry, not Harry Potter. Witches Wizards, and wizard, wizards, wizards right? and witches monthly mystery yarn club. Which um, the first comes, the first box will go out. Our first bag will go out January fifth. So okay. if if you haven't signed up yet, I still have about half of them left. So go ahead and sign up and have some fun with us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and that was my week, really. It snowed here. So a couple of days mm -hmm. I stayed in. It was, we finally got snow. Yeah, we got, well, not, I can't say quite a bit, maybe an inch or two down here in the we valley. We got about got, five inches, I think we measured yeah. in Eagle Mountain. Yeah, and they got about 17 or 18 up in the hills where mm -hmm. all the ski resorts, some even got 24. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so skiing will be good this year for people. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I was going to talk about the mail. You said they might get the, the mail. We sent off Dave's visa thing uh -huh. on Tuesday. We mm -hmm. paid for Priority Express overnight, okay. which was guaranteed to be delivered Wednesday by 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. They got it yesterday. So you like get your money back. We get our money back. Yeah. We paid almost 30 bucks for that. So yeah. yeah. So yeah. So his visa hopefully will be coming soon. Apparently we forgot a paper in it, but they're just letting us send that paper oh, okay. to add to it. Because yeah, I swear everything was there. We double checked everything, but... Well, I sent my mother's priority out on Wednesday and it just got delivered. It got delivered this morning at 747. Uh -huh. Well, they do hire extra help for this time. So of year, I think they're so. having someone that just delivers um, the packages because the guy that delivered my package, he, when I got my, some of my Alcrate, I was getting it like 11 or 12. So I'd go over to my mail and the mailman hadn't even been there yet. Hmm. He comes about three. So I think they hired extra drivers just for the packages. They might have. So. Yeah. So if you guys just let us know if you can hear us, by the way, because nobody's commenting to us yet today. So, yeah, so there just we watching. Go. If, you, if you can hear us, let us know, because we've had problems with the sound the past couple of times. Right. People not being able to hear us. So I'm con concerned that you're listening, but not hearing. Right. And some of you might even have started your vacation early this year. 
Yeah. Oh, apparently there is no school this week. You were right. Friday was the last day for students around oh, here. Was, okay. So they do get, well, because, they get two because full Christmas weeks. and New Year's are both on the weekends. So yeah, they get two full weeks. Two so. full weeks. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay, so now you're going to tell us about your week. Yes, well, the past, well, yes. So last week, we were here this week. Yeah. We got back Monday night, but we went to Cancun. Well, actually, we flew into Cancun. We went to Playa del Carmen, Mexico, and we did a whole bunch of fun stuff. Um, I learned a whole bunch about Mayans. I didn't know the Mayans still existed. I thought they were extinct, like the, uh, like no, the Aztecs. Aztecs. Yeah, <laughs> but they're not. They have actual Mayan villages out there. So we... Now I can't see where the mouse is. You moved it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so we got to um, to go see some cool Mayan stuff. So I just want to show you a few things. Our hotel when we got there, the Viva Mexico, Viva Maya Mexico, gave us this little box. It was on the um, table when we checked in for us with a little note saying thank you. And it's got a little Mayan picture on it. And then we checked in with the concierge who gave us our welcome gift. And this is our welcome gift. It's a Mayan calendar which is really cool. So those, um, should I talk about? Did they tell budget? you how to read the Mayan well, calendar? Well, the Mayan calendar is circular. So, oh, hey, Jill, welcome. Hi, Hi. I hope you're feeling better. Yes, me too. Um, well, the Mayan calendar is circular. Right. It's kind of like cogs in a, a, a machine. Like okay. there's like different circles, like a little circle that goes inside a little bit of a bigger circle. And then the bigger circle goes around the outside of this circle. So like, imagine this having a wheel around the outside of it moving oh, okay. with little wheels inside of it. Oh, okay. So our guide explained to us, you know, everyone thought December 21st, 20 or 2012, right. That was going to be the end of the world. Cause that was the end of the Mayan calendar. It wasn't the end. No. It was just because it's circular. It just started a new age. It was the beginning yeah, of a new age. Yeah, the new age. And that's mm -hmm. what I, I understood. So like our birthday every year is the beginning of a new age. The Mayan calendar is the beginning of a new age. So these were from our hotel. Then uh, we took some excursions while we were there. Some tours. Some tours. 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 <laughs> um, so should I do the excursions? or Well, do you want your gifts from me? Okay. <laughs> Give me your gifts from me. Gifts. I'm going to explain that. Well, first off, I want to let you know, I looked for pins for you everywhere. Oh, okay. nobody had any pins. Oh, I think they pin. have a ton of magnets, oh, okay. but no like pins. Nobody had pins. So first thing we got you was some Mayan dark chocolate. Oh, neat. Yeah. It's a, I think it was the Mayans that introduced the first chocolate, had the first chocolate plants. Uh, this. I don't know if the Spaniards had it. No, I don't well, they know where got they got it from, it from them. The Mayans. Yeah. yeah. I just heard that the other day. I read that somewhere. Yeah. They didn't talk much about that, but this is your other gift. Oh, okay. And be careful when you open it. Oh, it's lightweight. Oh, terrible things. It is lightweight. But this is your consolation prize for not getting a pin. <laughs> and it's going to have a little piece too when you open it. So the little piece might fall out, but we can put it together. I just don't remember where he put the little piece. Oh, there's a little piece. Boy, they wrapped it, or did you wrap no, it? No, they wrapped it for us. They know how to send things home in planes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a kitty cat, kind of. It is a kitty cat, and that's its tail. Oh. <laughs> it's a little, it's hand-painted. Uh -huh. Little kitty cat. Oh, for cute. you. I mean, I know you don't like a lot more trinkets, but yeah. in lieu of a pin, I thought this was, I mean, because you like cats. Yes, I like cats. And so, yeah, the tail you can put, I think, I don't know what position the tail is supposed to be. It might have been straight up when we bought it. Yeah, probably. And I was concerned about it falling and the guy goes and <laughs> like puts it separately in there so that, and it's all wood. So that it wouldn't break and mm -hmm. have to. But it is all wood. It's hand carved. Oh, nice. Okay. Neat. Yeah. Neat, guys. So she got, you got a little kitty cat. I got a kitty cat. Okay. So here's the paper if you wanted to. I don't know if you want to do that. Okay. So we went. Let's see. I'm trying to keep things in order. Um, first off. It went somewhere. It went somewhere. Uh, we went to Chichen Itza, which is the pyramids, like some of the step pyramids in um, Central America in 
they're in the Cancun region. They're actually east or west of Cancun. Aren't they so, like in Guatemala or something? No, we weren't in Guatemala. We were just not in Playa del Carmen anymore. Oh. I can't remember what state we were in, but it wasn't Playa del Carmen. Okay. Um, there are some other ones though. There's also periods in Tulum, which right now is having issues, I guess. So I'm glad we didn't go to Tulum. Um, but so this is like some of the tallest ones that were first discovered. Um, and that where they have the, I don't know if you've seen um, the road to El Dorado, the cartoon. Oh yes. Yeah. So that's kind of like what El Dorado is like the step pyramids. And then they have like the game um, oh, mm -hmm. with the two hoops on the top and like the big, we, they had a couple of those in Did this explain place. About those games mm -hmm. that they played to the death? Yeah. Well, no, it was, it was more of a ritual. It wasn't really a game. Right. And only certain people did it. Right. And it and was usually at a certain time and we don't really know a lot about it. Right. But yeah, it was more of a ritual and like the highborn people played it and we're not sure if they played to the death or not. Oh, okay. I don't really know from what our guide said. Um, so, okay. That's not any of that stuff. Um, we went, let's see. Oh. I had to wrap it, it up in my t-shirt so it didn't break because this has ceramic stuff in it. Oh. But we uh, went to a Mayan village and met, met actual Mayans um and oh <laughs> this is a cool thing got this is a jaguar call let's see if i can do it because dave can do it i don't know how he did it it's kind of like a jaguar call yeah oh. so i think there's different ways you can move your hand to make it make different sounds oh, but it? so dave bought this in the mayan village it's handcrafted by mayans isn't that cool but yeah, <laughs> yeah <it's> like... <laughs> okay i don't like that <laughs> i scared your cat away that's, so that's a jaguar call so that's dave's because you know he likes music stuff this is other things, so it doesn't have to do with that. Then I bought some an obsidian bracelet, and they had they had different colored obsidian. So they had ones that like shined like amber gold under light, some that shined pink. Um, but I picked one. I'm gonna see if I can show you that shines. It shines blue under the lights. Oh, you can kind of see it there. It's a really pretty blue. Um, and they actually purified it for me. I was telling mom earlier. So. Um, after they purified it with special with water, just regular water, not special water, but they had a um a medicine man, not medicine man, what did I call him? A shaman. A shaman who yeah. blessed it and then blessed us. He actually blessed all of our things that we bought. Oh. He blessed Dave's musical instrument and this, and then with the water and with special leaves, and then put it in here. And they give you a little thing telling you how to purify it at home too. Oh, so you can purify mm -hmm. it. Three if days in salt it. or seawater at full moon, then spray the water inside the house and put it in a visible place where no one in the family can touch it. Since this stone has a property of generating energy positive to transmit it. It is good and evil, such as poor blood circulation, rheumatism, arthritis, and relaxation from stress. You should have bought me one of those. But I couldn't, pur they couldn't purify it for you yeah. to not touch it, you know? So we bought that. And then we also got our Mayan birth certificates, which are so cool. So the shaman, it's kind of like, if you're a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint, you can get something called um, a patriarchal blessing, where our patriarch will give you a special blessing, kind of telling you things about your life um, and what could or couldn't happen, ish, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so this is kind of like that. They base this, it's or like the Mayan Zodiac. Mm -hmm. So I have a Mayan Zodiac in here too, not just a birth certificate, that tells you things based on you so this is the actual they put it on the, the paper they used to use this is my actual mayan birth certificate yeah, on this special paper they used to make they only really make it now still make it for this but this is what my mayan birth certificate looks like and then inside this they have these special folders they talk about all the different things in your birth certificate which is really cool but they also put things into english for you <laughs> <laughs> so this is my personalized mayan astronomical computation and this is it written in mayan oh okay okay so they wrote it in english and mayan so based on my birthday um days elapsed since august 13th bc 3144 beginning the 5th of may of mayan era 
1,860,080. That's how, how, how much time elapsed between that date and my birthday. Why August 13th? I don't know. Is that, that I don't know if it explains there? in here. No, yeah. August 13th of BC, 3,114. Oh, maybe that's when the Mayan calendar started. Well, maybe. I don't know. So they've got my Mayan astrological chart and my lunar horoscope. So things like May 5th, May 1980, number five means the only thing which counts in your life is experience. You feel the strong need to exchange and correlate with existence and other people. You are fully vibrant of life energy, chi, highly sexual and in constant movement. Um, so it talks all about, and then Ahau, the solar Lord, the ancestor's spirit is the God of the sun, the root and origin of time. The flower of life, day number 20, dream spell, yellow sun. Like it tells all about it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, uh, Jill says she's editing her video. She oh. picked a winner. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Jill. So we thought, I thought that was pretty cool. Dave and I each got one and they are different. I double, we double checked them. Oh, okay. they're not the same. They don't just give you the same thing. Well, and they these, probably have it all computerized. Yeah. I mean, and these tell you different things too about like protective animals or constellations. Let's see, what's my protective animal? Let's see, July, June 27th, yours is the turtle. I'm the turtle. Expert, patient, and cordial. And mine is the snake. Partial, challenging, and possessive. I am challenging and possessive. Dave it's is my same as yours. He's, he's a, turtle a turtle as well. Because mm -hmm. you're both the same. Yeah. You're both. within 10 days of each other. Right. So yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, yes, I was telling mom, you know, things cost money and we don't have a ton, but this was also an experience. So we bought some things we wouldn't normally have bought, I think. <laughs> um, we also went and we just walked what they call Fifth Avenue in Playa Car. Hello, Ola Joe, crocheting Hi. sailor. Welcome. <laughs> um, so we uh, bought some things from some street vendors. Dave bought this. It is a, it's a flute of some sort. It's like a whistle. It's like a whistle. Is it one part? Uh, it's, well, it's made of clay. Oh. It's made of clay and it looks like a little bird. So that's pretty cool. This will come later. <laughs> Not there yet. And then we got me some, we also bought ourselves each a hat because it was hot I and saw sunny. That hat. <laughs> I saw your big hat. Mm -hmm. I, and then, oh my gosh, I, it may look silly, but I needed it. It helped. Dave got the, do you see his big green one too? Uh -huh. And then we got me some opal elephant earrings and these are real opal and they shine with the blue and the green. Um, they had several different colors. They tried to talk me into getting another pair because it was a different color. And I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah, because I always think it's opal as being white. Well, it's white, but it shines different colors. Uh -huh. So some real opal earrings. Then one day they we could you could buy ceramics and paint them yourself. Oh, so they had a place to do that. <laughs> Is that yours? That's mine. So. Um, and the guy actually, after you painted it, he added in details too. So oh. this is the one that Dave did. It's a little bowl with the little guy out in the Mexican desert, out in the hot sun. So yeah, he painted that. He did pretty good. He did. And then the guy, he put the black in after and he added some more details in to give it depth. And then I painted this elephant. Of course. Of course. Because I like elephants. They are my favorite. But that's my elephant. I actually went over some of the colors a couple of times and kept changing them because they didn't look right, quite right. <laughs> I like, know I don't like that, but this is my elephant. So we painted those. And this is the last thing to show. That's um, it? That's yes. Okay. Um, we actually on our way back, we were at the airport in Mex in in, Car in Carmen. I almost said Carmen. Um, in Cancun, we ate at Guy Fieri's restaurant. Do you know who Guy Fieri is? He is from Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives on the cooking oh, on the, okay. the Food Network. So we didn't realize we were getting these. So we bought our food there, which was amazing. Um, but we got sodas that were refillable. And apparently they came with a free glass. Oh, so, after. so we each got one. Okay. So it is a skull. And it says Guy Cancun on the back. And then it comes with a straw and then a cool lid too. So we got these at the airport on our way back. Oh, so, so you had to carry those on the plane. Yeah, but they didn't take much space. Yeah. And well, and because we were there, we were there way early because our flight changed. Like we still got there. Oh, I'm glad our flight changed after because it took us almost three hours to get to the airport because of traffic. Oh, wow. So I'm actually glad our flight changed because of that. But yeah, so we had time to eat dinner there. Yeah, so that's, that's that. 
let's see everyone's saying hi to each other oh ola just says i love guy awesome yeah it was pretty cool and they're we got trash can nachos. They were so good. Oh. Like they put them on your plate. They had a little metal container around them uh-huh. and they were in there and then they pulled the container. She's like, are you ready? Are you ready? And she pulls the thing off and they just kind of fall onto the plate. They oh. were really good. They're probably the best nachos I've ever had. <laughs> but yeah. So, and we made it home alive. We didn't have COVID. Right. We had to have a COVID test on Monday before we left. Right. That's right. So yep. survived Cancun and Playa del Carmen and it was fun. And this is as tan as I get. If you can see, I'm in, I'm Tanner. I'll show, I, I got a tan line from wearing t-shirts because um, I'm super white. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Yeah, well, good. Mm-hmm. Well, that's nice. That's fun. It's something that once. Did I say we saw the turtles? Did I say that? No, here? you didn't. Oh, we that. also went on another excursion. <laughs> we didn't buy anything at that one. And we saw the turtles. We saw the turtles. We kind of saw the turtles because the water was really choppy. And we went to another cenote. Um, so the one we went to before was super deep. You couldn't see the bottom and you had to wear a life vest and everything. Cause it was scary. It was scary. And, but this, the other one we went to was not deep. It was only about five to six feet deep and it was lit up inside cause it was underground, but it's like a naturally formed cave system that has filled with fresh wall, uh, that's filtered where they, water. That's where they got all their water. That's where they got their water. Exactly. The yep. Yeah. And she said, we could drink the water. Just don't drink too much of it. Because it'll make you have ca- uh, kidney stones. A lot of my oh, get it's kidney high, stones because it's high calcium, calcium or high um, mineral content in minerals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But okay, yeah, that, well, that was my two weeks, and then this last week has been. <laughs> yeah, I, I door- DoorDashed this week. I know. Did, did, if you saw her little, thing if you're my Facebook, Facebook friend, you might have seen me um, make a comment of how um, I don't care if you're going to tip your delivery driver or not. I don't care. Don't give him a penny though, because I had a guy give me a penny tip. Oh, and then he went in yesterday and added another quarter. Really? <laughs> I got a notification last night that someone added an extra quarter. <laughs> and this, I mean, sense? I try not to complain because I know I'm choosing to take this job. I, I, I choose, but the person that only tipped me a penny was in a third floor apartment and he bought a 12 pack of soda, a whole bunch of bottles, like big bottles of juice, um, like the clear American bottles, like the one liter bottles. Like it was so much heavy stuff. I, it took me three trips to get it up to his, his apartment and he tipped me a penny, <sighs> but that's okay. Cause the other person I delivered to that same time tipped me well. So it kind of evened out. Right. But yeah. And that's my job right now walmart deliveries yes sometimes walmart delivery is okay but yeah my mom she doesn't do walmart deliveries but she does them from a grocery store but she always tips ten dollars mm-hmm. and the other person tipped me ten dollars but yeah. i also had to go all the way out to vineyard uh, which is by me so she mm-hmm. and she was in eagle mountain which it was, is well 12 miles out. i picked up at linden walmart oh, okay and then go went all the way out to vineyard because i think it's the closest walmart to vineyard no ours is I don't know if that one's closer or not. Oh. Depend. I don't know. Yeah, because Vineyard yeah. is right on the other side of the freeway here. It is not right on the other side of the freeway. That's Vineyard. It is all the way out by the mountains on the other side of the freeway. Well, Vineyard is starts at uh, but, Geneva But people Road. don't live there. No. <laughs> people don't live except for all the way out by the mountain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thank goodness for, <laughs> what do you call that? MapQuest. GPS. GPS. Mm-hmm. And I forgot to stride my my ride until that last trip my count my mileage i forgot to start my mileage counting until that last trip to that one uh, <laughs> and that was my second trip to vineyard oh wow yeah yep. any so, of you guys delivery drive or, <laughs> or know anybody that does you know yep. i'm like i know it's i know it's gig economy whatever they call it you know people make fun of it and say get a real job but right now i can't get a real job i mean yeah dave is subbing and i'm doing doordash Yep. Until they leave, go to China. Mm-hmm. They're still going. We are still going on Dave's visa. Hopefully we'll come back soon. So he could go as soon as it comes back or do they have to? Well, as soon as it comes back, then he can schedule his flight because his PU letter, which is a special written letter he had to have, plus his visa are each good for three months. Oh. So he has to schedule sometime in the middle of where they coincide. Ah, okay. So he will go probably in January. I mean, with since we forgot that paper. <laughs> we're gonna have to mail that we are not overnighting that paper though no we are just doing normal stuff for that paper so mom doesn't have any whips or no i have no whips no because i've been working on other stuff i got this done on my flight i'm up to yellow finally on my socks finally i thought you were 
knit on your flight the whole time. Well, I, I was going to, but I, there was someone right next to me. Even though we had more more room, I felt like I was in her space oh. by knitting. What, they were three seats across? Or four. four. On the way there, four. Oh, and on the way back, they got rid of the upgrade we paid for. So did you get your money back for the upgrade? They said we're getting our money back, but they haven't given sent it to us yet. They actually were paying us paying us back for both upgrades. Like we paid 110 oh. for each. Uh -huh. We're getting like $220 back. Oh, good, good. But they haven't initiated yet. So if we, if we don't get it by Monday, which is when Dave talked to them was last Monday, we're going to call again. Give them a call. Okay. Yeah, because, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that. That's me. That's my two weeks. Okay, and I have two owl crate oh, boxes, shit. you guys. So the first one is I decided this year to do an owl crate 12 days of Christmas. Okay. So are we going to open all 12 days? All 12 days. Okay. First, it's already the 18th or 19th. So. Which means. And they have yeah. them all numbered. I peach. 12 days of Almas. Does this tell what they are? I don't know. You can read them. As, you have I to scratch them. to reveal them. I'll show them. That's kind of You neat. have to scratch to reveal so you can't cheat ahead. Right. Let me so get a coin. I'll find number one. Do you one. have a coin or maybe a key? I can use a key. I've got a key in my pocket. I have to find number one. Seven eight four ten, and they're all wrapped separately guys fine i think they put one on the top i see three they probably fit them in there the best way they could 11. thank well, you jill two what'd jill say she said you're so worth it <laughs> i don't know if she talked about the penny tip or, <laughs> two, or the extra quarter <laughs> You guys, it looks like number one might be the big one. It oh, is, it, is. it is. Well, it's, it's not as big, big as will you, you think. Will you pull it out? Yes. All righty. On the first day of Almas, Alcrate gave to me Sleeping Welsh King. Oh, it even has a date you're supposed to open it, December 13th. Okay, if you're well, going by date. Okay. Okay, here we go. That worked really well. Oh, that. if you guys saw it, <laughs> we get two and three there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, how nice! They are, they are convertible. Convertible gloves. They're fingerless, but they also have. They're also mittens. They're also. Oh, I used to have a pair of gloves like this and I loved them. They're the mittens. Finally, something I will use. They so have the mitten conversion. It said these are inspired by the Raven Boys, designed by Team Alcrate. Okay. I don't know what the Raven Boys are, but. Uh, it's a book. Okay. I'm going to move. These I'm going to move the packaging out of the way. Books. Once we open stuff. Okay. Okay. This goes in that package. Do you want them in the package? Do you uh, want to keep them in the package? Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought you would just okay. put them in the box by themselves after. No, right now, just put them in back in the package. Okay. I <laughs> so I can know what they are. Okay. That was number one. Oh, Jill says both for the penny and the quarter. Oh, so we'll <laughs> both. Okay. Number two. And it says on the second day of Almas, Al Crate gave to me rival gangs. Mm -hmm. oh, I've heard of this one. I've heard of this book that it's inspired by. Okay. Do we need scissors in here? Yeah, I'm just going to say maybe I should have gotten scissors. Boy, no way could I have peeked at these. No, they really have it set up so you can't, even with the scratch thing. Yeah, that you can't even read ahead. Which is awesome. Yes. Number two. Ooh. Oh, a a wallet like. Yeah, it is. For credit cards and stuff. These violent delights inspired wallet designed by Lady Chubb Letters. We are forever blood soaked roses. We are forever. I've heard of these violent delights actually. That cute? must be a quote from it. Yeah, and then it's got a little rose on it. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me put it back. Hey, okay. number three. It says on the owl on the third day of Almas, Alcrate gave to me enchanted gowns. Okay, hmm. and this little thing. 
Oh, this one wasn't taped. It didn't have to be, I guess. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, a headband. Yeah. And it is made from Spin the Dawn headband, handmade by Fable Fable Bands. That's fun. Mm -hmm. You can use that when you wash your face. Yes. Okay. okay, now I need to find four. 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 Okay. On the fourth day of Almas, Alke gave to me parallel Londons. Hmm. Hello, Avita. Welcome. Well, guys, this one's going to have oh. to be sliced open. I think. Let's see what it is. For the ones who dream of stranger worlds, it's a coaster. It is a darker shade of magic coaster designed by Michelle Gray. It's bent. Oh, but that's okay. It's just because it's metal. Yeah, there. I think I fixed it. Okay. Okay, that was number four. Oh, number four. Okay. All right. Seven. Five. Oh, big. On the fifth day of Almas, Alcret gave to me Parisian misfits. Parisian. Parisian. Parisian? Parisian. <laughs> You're going to like this one. All right. I've got, I've got like little metal shavings all over me from some, it's got a scratch in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Parisian Misfits, Owl Crate Exclusive. The Gilded Wolves Tea. Tea, it's tea. Made by Riddle's Tea Shop. Toasted Mate, what's toasted mate? Black tea, natural hazelnut flavor, natural <laughs> caramel Excuse flavor, me. cocoa nibs, natural chocolate flavor, and natural vanilla flavor. Gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free. And yet it has hazelnut flavor. Okay. Oh, flavor, not... That's okay. That that's a huge bag. That was it. That's enough for what two? Probably servings, two maybe? servings, maybe five. That was five. Yeah, I hate two. Steep that's at two hundred degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes. Use one teaspoon Ooh. per cup. So you might be able to get three or four if it's only one yeah. teaspoon. Toasted meat. Okay, six. Okay, six. Sorry. This is a big box. On the sixth day of Almas, Alcrate gave to me six great libraries. Ooh. I wonder if it's a library thing, a book, you know. Yes, it is. Well, it's a photo album. Oh, it's a photo album. Mm -hmm. I thought it was one of those books. It says, you belong in the library as much as any book. Sorcery of Thorns photo album, designed by Stella Bookish Art. That's pretty cool. Ink and parchment. Thank you. Flowed through the vein, her veins. The magic of the great libraries lived in her very bones. They were a part of her and she a part of them. Is that six? That was six. Yes. That is really cool. Yeah. I got to bless you because of my sneeze. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. I swear I'm allergic to winter. Seven. On the seventh day of Almas, Alcrate gave to me course of Prithian. Prithian, I Prithian. believe. No, no, R. P R Y T H I. Oh, it is P R. Prithian. You're going to like this one too. Is, you've it, a read pen? These books. is it a pen? No, oh. you've read these books. Oh, is it a sort of Games of Thorns and Roses? No, a or? Court of Thorns and Roses. Court yeah. Rose. Hello, Sanita makes. Oh, a keychain with Vid Valerius. That's one of the. Um... Yeah. Court of Thorns and Roses enamel keychain by Paperback Bones. And it's a heavy one. Yeah, enamel ones tend to be heavier. Yeah. That's really cool. Yes, I like that too. Okay, you're on day eight. 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 On the eighth day of Almas, Alma gave to me greater fate. Feels like a lip gloss. It is lip gloss. Mm -hmm. It is 
Prince of Hearts. Is this from um Caraval's Caraval's Prince of Hearts. Mm -hmm. lip balm handmade by Fiction Bath Co. Yep. What was fragrance? Here? Prince of Hearts. Organic olive tree oil. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Prince of Hearts one. 15 um uh, apple spice flavor. Okay. A vegan. Okay. That's cool. That was eight. Sorry. Okay, that was eight. Nine. That was 11. <laughs> well, I'm missing one. Okay. On the ninth day of Elmas, oh. Alfred gave to me members of the fellowship. Is this, this uh -huh. is from Lord of the Rings? It is. Oh, I'm jealous already. I may have to tell you what it's a stone diffuser ornament so you can put essential oils on it and hang it on your Christmas tree and it will diffuse the scent it doesn't come with any on it diffuse you have to use the scent mm -hmm. oh okay so you I have oil you put essential it. oils on it and you can hang it like somewhere. my lavender oil mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it will diffuse the scent and it's the leaf from the mm -hmm. um the oh my gosh the elves from the Lothlorien. Lothlorien. yeah Lothlorien, I believe Lothlorien. yeah I think that's yeah okay i'll let you put that one back mm -hmm. in okay that was nine that was nine and this little one on the 10th day of elmas alcrate gave to me competing magicians hmm have you done that one no but i know what 11 is from this is 10. no no i know but what no i know what 11 is from okay. i just have the name of it sorry i just looked ahead <laughs> Not all magic is good magic. It's a mirrors. Mm -hmm. Where dreams descend pocket mirror. Oh, designed by Katarina Book Designs. And it's actually, you guys, it's a pop-up one. It pops up like a clock. I watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pocket mirror. Pocket mirror. So you can use it to look around corners and so you don't get caught by the basilisk. Yes. Okay, <laughs> that was 10. <laughs> Okay, 11. Oh, Jill said she'll send you some essential oils. Oh, thank you. On the 11th day of Alba, Scalcrate gave to me frozen waffles. Yep, okay. I knew what it was from when I saw frozen waffles. Okay. Do you, can you guess before you open it what it's from? It's not a book. No, but it's got a lot of the... I think you've watched this. Mm -hmm. And it's number 11. 11th waffles 11th waffles oh oh um 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 oh my gosh what's i haven't watched this for a long time it was one it was so popular forever yeah season four comes out in 2022 mm. stranger things stranger things and it smells oh, like maple waffles that smells so good uh, and of course they put all kinds of that paper the packing in it, paper the in packing it. paper okay now number 12 i can't believe we didn't get a pin Maybe okay. number 12 is a pin. On the 12th day of Almas, Alcrate gave to me Cursed Sisters. Oh, no. Oh. Because I'll make the tea strainer. Oh, nice. Okay. Because I go do with your tea. tea. Yeah. And I do drink tea. So oh, I and think... it goes right over. It fits right yeah, over. And this the... actually, I think, does that come out? No, it doesn't. I think it came out to clean. But... Yeah. And we just, yeah, it just sits on your. Cup. Oh, good. Because I had bought an extra Alf, um, uh, extra, what do you call it? Strainer. Yeah, from David's Tea, oh, those yeah. kind. Because they don't put them, you used to when you bought a, something from David's Tea, a cup, the strainer insert came with it. Well, it depends on the cup. Oh, now you have some to buy do all and separately. some don't. Okay, you guys, These that was my 12 day, uh, days of Almas. That was pretty cool. That was kind of neat. Yeah. Okay, and then the other thing I got, this was the book I think I told you guys about a couple of weeks ago that I was getting. It's about, Water dragon races <laughs> on a planet hmm. far, far away. But this crate, oh, it's a huge box. They, it, it was a specialty. I don't know how they just, fit these in here. I don't either. We'll fix them later. It was a specialty box. Um, they have them once in a while. And this is their specialty box. And so it's bigger. And so it costs a little more to ship. But it, it's a book box. So... Alcrate is normally book boxes. Mm -hmm. This is the first year they've ever done the 12 days of Christmas. Yeah. So the Scorpion races. Oh my gosh, I can see why they the Scorpio races. Scorpio races. 
They gave me a blanket. It's a blanket scarf. Our hooded Malvern Stables blanket scarf, it says. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Is the ideal choice of outer... It's really loud, sorry. Is the ideal choice of outerwear for late autumnal adventuring. The Malvern Stables logo designed by T. Malcrate adds a perfect amount of subtle bookishness to any outfit. Okay. So the hooded scarf. Yeah. I've never had one of those. Oh, I'm sorry. Hooded blanket scarf, actually. So it's going to be huge. Oh, it's got, does it have pins? No. I thought it was head stuff held together. It just keeps going. Oh, here's the hood. So you must put it. Do you put your head over it? Oh, here. It's like a, it's like a poncho. It's, it's like a poncho. Hold on. Here's the bottom. And your head goes through there. It's like a poncho. Hooded blanket scarf. <laughs> Here's my head. Okay. My head. And then and then it's like a poncho. See? Oh, so oh, those football games. And mm -hmm. It's not that warm, you guys, because it's fairly thin. But that is nice. That is nice. And you look like an elf. <laughs> you look elvish. <laughs> I don't have one of these, you guys. Help me get it off. <laughs> Oh, just oh, my glass. oh, does it have your glasses? Yes. Okay. I stopped. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Trying to help you. There. Now you're very staticky. Oh, you ain't kidding. All right. So oh, that was nice. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> hold on. It's stuck on my shoulders. It is. It is. There we go. <clears throat> All right, I'm ready to help you now. Are you cold? No, I'm just thought it'd be fun to wear. Okay. Like that. There we go. So you don't have to wear the hood up. All right. That's actually okay, really then I got cute. this. Okay. A little bit of poster. This be home of Scorpio races. Oh, it's a poster. It's visit Fisby, home of Scorpio races. That's where the Scorpio races. Ooh. Right. Okay. I'll put it away for you. Then we got a candle, it looks like. Traditional November cake, Passions Bakery, Skirmouth, Thisbe. The must take place in Thisbe, the book. Mmm. Kind of a vanilla. Oh, and it has a. Oh, it smells ooh, good. It has one of those wicks. Um, mm, it's, it's I a, bet it's a soybean. It's got a wooden It's got wick. a wooden wick. Um, okay, Lichen and Limestone crafted a woodwick candle inspired by the iconic honey glazed November cakes that we're all dying to taste. It says it's impossible to read this atmospheric book without craving delicacies from Paulson's Bakery. Oh, okay. That's one of the bakery mm -hmm. things. Okay, now this is Fatsum, Fatsum and Sons, seven tea satchels, Capsay Visa Cup, a fresh mint and wild berry blend. Another tea, you guys. Doing this cute little tea thing. Mmm, the mint. Mmm, that smells really good. Mm. It says, taste the magic of Thisbe with the Capel Uska Cup of Berry Mint Tea made by Riddle's Tea Shop. That's another Riddle's Tea Shop. That's the same tea company as the other Oh, one. okay. This, this collectible tin is designed to fit right in on the shelves of Fathom and Sons. There's and then our, our pin. And this is, oops, upside down. This is Scorpio Rider Races. I don't know if you can really see it. That's good. Cool. Go Mike pin. That's why I like Dow Crate. You always get a pin and it's neat. And you like pins. And I like pins. And then we got the ocean shows your name. It's a double-sided wooden, wooden bookmark. To the sea. Yeah, this was all inspired by the Scorpio, right, by right. the book. Right. Yeah. I'll, most of the times they're inspired by a bunch of different places. Interesting that this is wood. It's such a thin wood. I know. It's very bendable. Oh, and that's, is that the card about? Oh, Scorpio photo races photo challenge. Prompt one, Al Crate unboxing. Two, Scorpio book. Three, okay. You could win prizes if you follow these prompts for that. Oh, okay. And this is the Scorpio book. It says, it is the first day of November. And so today someone will die. Okay, even under the brightest sun, the frigid autumn sea is all the colors of the night, dark blue and black and brown. I watch the ever-changing patterns in the sand as it's pummeled by countless hoofs. They run the horses on the beach. 
a pale road between the black water and the chalk cliff. It is never safe, but is it is never so dangerous as today, race day. Hmm. So that's fun. And these are water horses. I don't know if you can see the water around them, but they actually come from the sea, the horses hmm. for this race. Anyway, I finally got another book to read. I you love do. books, you guys. And this sounded so good that I got it. And I'm sure we can get all of these back in here because, because it, yeah, it doesn't it's, take it. Yeah. Although this is now poofier because we tried it on. That's true. Okay, you guys, that's where my, I gave them, this time, I don't think there's anything in either box that, you that I really what? don't, not like, I mean, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. you get weird stuff, I, I'm sorry, a lot of you people like it when you get um, the, the reading diaries or whatever they call the reading them, like, reading journals, reading journals, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I still have the one you gave me for Christmas a couple years I ago, still got I still my other one sitting on the kitchen I table, mm -hmm. I started, but you know, why mm -hmm. do you want to, schedule what you're going to read that's well, what you're for it's well you to... you do it after so you can keep track of how many books you read that year right it's like using the goodreads app but it also says books i want to read this month oh, you yeah. have to put it in before you don't have to well i know when i started <laughs> i think in january i put a few books in there and that was it but i did read them hello froggy want a knitting welcome oh i don't have much else should i should i do the jaguar call again yeah she's gonna do a jaguar for call. those of you who missed it the cool thing that my husband bought where is it there it is i didn't take okay my husband bought this look at this ready <laughs> that's it that's what it's supposed to sound like, it like a, a growl a jaguar growl or a snarling that's it <laughs> yeah better did you, did you see a jaguar while you were there no well, dave told me he's like oh i saw the jaguar crossing i was like you saw a jaguar crossing he's like no, I saw the Jaguar crossing sign. <laughs> oh, I was like, I assumed you would have told me if you saw a Jaguar crossing I somewhere. Because <laughs> I would have been like, oh, look at that. Yeah. The whole bus would have known if you saw a Jaguar. They, they did have little animals that kind of looked like lemurs. And we had them at our hotel. Oh, kind of um, like ground squirrels? Kind of, but they had like the lemur tail. Oh. I didn't take a picture of what they were called. And apparently we could have seen iguanas at our hotel too. Oh, probably. Oh, but oh, we uh, never uh, saw one. We saw the lemurs one night, and it was the one night I didn't have my phone to take a picture of them. The mm. one night, but it's okay. Oh, right. But they're cute. They're, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Christmas is next week. Yes. And if you guys missed the very beginning, don't forget um, my witchers, witchers, my wizards and witchers. Um, HP, wizards and witches. Yeah. Wizards and witches. Harry Potter Club is posted, and these this starts the first book, um, January 5th, they go out, so you have till December 29th to sign up, mm -hmm. and it's fun. This year, I'm going to make it a little more fun. I'm trying to put in little bigger extras. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bigger extras. So, yeah, I'm trying to make it a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and uh, if you were in my my Christmas Club and my Halloween one, Thank you. That those were fun to do. It's always fun to to think of things that go with the book. Mm -hmm. And this year's the books, so we'll just be doing seven months because uh, there's only seven books. Mm -hmm. And so the first one, of course, will be based on. Don't tell me the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> you mean the Philosopher's Stone, or the Sorcerer's Stone depends on what country you're I in. Know, I'm just kidding. I'm just and um, this is my sixth year of doing this. It's so crazy. So yeah, I. How many? I didn't even know I'd be dying yarn this long. You know, mm -mm. when you start out, you don't mm -mm. even think. So we've been doing it about seven years. Did we start in 2015? I don't remember. Yeah. Like, like that ugly face I just made? Yeah. Um, I don't remember. And we, we started this. I think we've been with YouTube now three years. Boy, it doesn't seem like it's been three years. Maybe like even four. four. Four in August. Didn't we start like in August? I don't June? Remember. I think we started in the middle of summer. So yeah, boy, time just flies by. Well, so, yeah, I mean, I can't believe it's December. It's almost 2022. I know it. And I, I mean, still before remember, we know it, I'll be in China. I still remember 2000 when everybody was freaking out about oh, the computers Y2K. going down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, you know, that was, I still lived in. Montana. That was right before I moved here. That mm -hmm. year, yeah. it was your. You were in college. Uh -huh, I know. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I was at a friend's house, but <laughs> in Pocatello, I went to a New Year's party at oh. at, at Jeff's house That's, in Pocatello uh -huh. and spent the night there. And yeah, 
didn't know if, if we were going to see each other. It's so crazy that we freaked out about numbers. Isn't that crazy? I mean, like, I get it. I kind of get like computer language can be confusing, but how do we think computers were that stupid to not know the difference between 1900 and 2000? Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I know. Yeah. Well, they, they just didn't think, I mean, they, I think I even took all my money out of the bank. I think I was worried because they said all the banks will, um, everybody's account will get mixed up and which doesn't make sense if it's just a date thing. I don't know how Not that, that I had a lot of money yeah. in the bank, but I did. I think I took it out, kept mm -hmm. it at home for a week to make sure everything was going all right. But yeah, yeah. of course, I was younger then. I was still working full time. Oh, I was younger then. I was 19 yeah, in college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, boy, that was a long time ago. Also. Oh, and if you're not, uh, by the way, give us a thumbs up, please. Mm -hmm. yes. And, and please, if you're not if you're not subscribe, subscribed, please subscribe. Um, we we do little weird things. Amber used to dye yarn too, but now that she's going to China, they've had to pack their house up, and so she won't be dyeing yarn for at least three years, unless she dyes some over there. Who knows what she's going to do? I mean, yeah, I, I do want her to check out and see how much if she can get silk cheaper over there. The undyed yarn, since and I'm sure sending it to you will be cheaper than sending you sending me stuff in China. Yeah, true. true. That's such a weird thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, right. Dave said that's why he only got one care package his entire time in in Ukraine, because it costs like forty dollars to ship there, and he only got a care package because friends of the family were going to visit Ukraine for something, and they brought him stuff from home. Oh, his yeah. mom was like, "I'm sorry, it was too expensive to ship." Yeah, and I'm like, "It will be to do to that to China too." Well, even just here in the United States, I shipped my mother. I bought her I, I instead of putting it in a medium block box which would have cost $16 now I bought her a bunch of different candy and I put it in one of those bags mm -hmm. where we it's from here to Montana which is a five yeah. hour six hour drive seven hour drive maybe but from it, here it's like 11 hours okay whatever <laughs> but one day okay one day they're they're pretty close it's not like shipping across to New York it still cost me nine dollars and something to mm -hmm. ship that I mean and it was just candy I just sent her different candies and right now, priority is not guaranteed. Oh, I mean, priority is never guaranteed. Right. But it's taken, like they tell you, it'll be there a certain day and it may or may not. Yeah. Because it's, it's well, I shipped week. the same day I shipped that. And then I shipped a package from Jeff, mm -hmm. which was, I get, sent, sent her teas mm -hmm. and it was lightweight. So it cost about almost $4. So, and it only weighed like eight ounces, seven mm -hmm. ounces versus this other way, two pounds and something. So it was a pretty good rate, mm -hmm. but it said after I shipped them the next day, I checked and it said both of them, the one was shipped priority on Wednesday and this one was shipped on Wednesday regular. And it said they both would get there on Monday, but she did get the priority this morning at 747. You guys, mm -hmm. they're, they're got people out there, I guess, delivering packages very early. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so she did get it, but it still didn't, it wasn't the one to two priority. It took Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days, which I guess isn't too bad. But no. um, uh, yesterday, today's the last day you can ship priority and they'll guarantee it'll get there by Christmas, which is still weird to me. That's a whole week. I mean, for next Friday, that, that seems weird. Why? Well, because normally it takes three to five days just to get regular mail. But if you're shipping at priority, it's one it to three days. One to two days, one to three days. One to three. But that's today to next Friday is seven days or six days. Right. But they're saying because priority is never guaranteed anyway, mm -hmm. they do. It does go to the head of the line, but there's no guarantee that it will be there by Christmas right. unless, you know. Yeah. Um. By the way, Sunita says, Donna, my yarn is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's one of those things that you never know what's going to be in my shop because mm -hmm. <laughs> you never know. I and If you're in my mini skiing club, they're going out. I'm still drying. It takes a couple more days to dry than it does in the summer because the summer I can sit it outside. Winter, I have to put it in here and I have to put it in my bathroom over a vent. So it takes a couple of days. I want to make sure it's real dry before I send it to you guys. But anyway, so I'm going to package them up tomorrow and they will be shipping out Monday. So I bet even if you live like in the closest place, to ship to if you don't live in Utah. It's like Nevada because that's where the processing, but you might get it by Wednesday or so. And I'll be really surprised if any of them you really get before Christmas. It'll probably be the following Monday. Mm -hmm. But some of you might. Who knows? You know, yeah. it depends on I've I've been told that priority 
if you live across country, priority and regular mail all goes on the same plane out mm -hmm. of here. So, but it's when it, where it goes and where it, what happens there, I guess back East, a lot of the big Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, what was the one up North uh, in Michigan or something, Chicago, Illinois, oh, yeah. they're, they're backed up like three, four days backed up. Mm -hmm. So it's Christmas and we got to expect it. And yeah. this year, of course, this, I would have thought last year would have been the worst Christmas because most people were buying online, but most people were home and shipped things early. Oh. Because they were buying online from home early. Oh, okay. And now because people are able, able to go out shopping, they're going out and keeping going out later and later and then sending yeah. stuff. So, yeah, that's true. That's my philosophy anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but. But anyway, oh, and, and to all you new subscribers, thanks for subscribing yes. to us. We picked Thank up, you. I think, 16. Yeah, new 15 ones last 16. So in the we're, past two weeks, we're getting so. up close. We're getting close to 400 mm -hmm. now. And I mean, to 600 right we've we're got 606 over, yeah 600 so we're still mm -hmm. shooting for the thousand because uh, um well jill knows most of you if you have your own shop i mean your own youtube you know what thousands the magic number mm -hmm. i don't know why but a thousand's the magic number do they pay us or something at a we thousand? can get monetized at a oh, thousand okay well and you have to have a certain amount of play time too so i mean if you guys care i'm going to actually i took some videos when we were in cancun i'm going to make a video of Cancun. I'll post it here. If you guys want to watch it, you don't have to. But I mean, some people like to see that kind of stuff. But yeah. and I tried to film my travel. I would do like this way for uh -huh. like seven or eight seconds, and then this way for seven, eight seconds. Did you see my Instagram video I posted? Um, I posted it from TikTok. I did it this way for TikTok and Instagram, and then everything I did this way for YouTube, so I could had the same stuff both directions. Because oh. videos on TikTok go this way, and Instagram go this way. So you have to cut them up then. Uh huh. Well, I did two different videos. I did this video and then I would stop it and then I would turn it and do this video. Oh, okay. It. Yeah. Okay. So I did a TikTok one already and it actually, I added the videos and then it kind of took some and kept some and yeah. Oh. So yeah. And it added, set it to music for me So too. this one, the YouTube will be a little longer. It will be longer because YouTube can be longer. Okay. I'll probably post the full videos of the, the, cause it had the two, the guys that serenaded us that I posted on Insta or on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we paid them to serenade us, but <laughs> <laughs> everyone works on tips in, in, uh, Mexico. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. So guys came over, started playing. And of course you have to tip them. <laughs> you just, you just have to, I mean, yeah, that's how their life is. That's how that works. And we brought cash so we could tip people and we spent more than our cash, but we brought cash and cause everyone took card too. Almost oh, everyone took cards. Took, they took cards. No, 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 no. Oh, like when we bought stuff. Like oh when yes. we went out I to thought eat, they would. We could still and pay you, with our card. And you really don't know what you're paying because. Well, we did because we a lot of them would offer them in either peso or American. We could oh. choose which we wanted, and we actually have to call because someone put it in wrong for one of them. They put 686 US dollars in instead of 686 pesos. But we took Dave's credit card, his Visa. So we can dispute that and get it fixed. That's why we brought just the visa. That was the only card we brought with us. Have you called them yet? He's going to call them Monday. Oh, yeah. But That's that was week. The, <laughs> well, yes, I know. But he's been working like every day this week. Oh, yeah. But I meant it, it should have come through by now. Did it come through? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's when we noticed it. Dave was checking our accounts while we were there, too. He would check them every night. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't figure out which one that was, though. We don't have any idea because it says like, it says like state of Cancun or something or state of Playa del Car. I'm like. Wait, what? <laughs> so hopefully they can just fix it and change it from US dollars to pesos because we did right. not buy anything that cost $700 while we were there. Right. The most we spent was at the hotel. I think we spent 250 because we had laundry done and we had, we did a spa day and they added that to our bill for the spa day and then our taxes. So I think that was the most we actually spent in one sitting was like $250, but mm. yeah. Right, right. But yeah, so watch for that video. I gotta, anyway. Now that my computer is open again, I can actually add the videos to it. Oh. I haven't opened my computer since we've been home. Oh, and I like to edit. I want to edit it on here because it's easier to edit it's a easier. full screen mm -hmm. video on the computer. Yes, but. yes. So she'll try to get that posted maybe in the next couple of days. Yeah, because I think tomorrow I'm going to help. We're going to cut out some names on my Cricut because it's I have that at my house to put on the um on our stockings at Cheryl's house. Oh, okay. I got some HTV yesterday, so we can iron on oh, our names. Fun, fun. So, yeah. Okay. So, anyway, 
So we thank you. Yeah, thank you. And we won't be with you during mm-hmm. the holidays until after. We'll probably be filming on New Year's Day, you guys. Hot, maybe. We'll see how that, I mean. Yeah, we, we don't really to, do don't anything know. on New Year's Day. Well, no, not New Year's Day. That's Sunday. New Year's Eve is the 31st, right? No. Is that New Year's? No, New Year's Day is, is on, on Saturday. Saturday. Oh, yeah. Hold on. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'll be tired. Oh, we might stay up on New Year's Eve. I don't know. Well, that matters. You know, you have to get here till 10 or 10 30. Oh man, I'm making weird faces today. Anyway, we hope Sorry. to see you on New Year's <laughs> Day, you guys. Uh happy Hanukkah if you celebrated that. Or Kwanzaa. Okay. I don't know what the date is for Kwanzaa. I don't exactly know who celebrates that. I've never uh, it, even heard of it till this year. It, it well, it's been around for a while. I know, but I never heard it of it. It has I, I don't know the history of it, so I don't want to say anything that's wrong. Is it a certain religion? I think so. well, yeah. But I'm not sure which anybody one. out there know what it is. I'm not sure which one. I can't remember, and I don't want to speak incorrectly, and then have someone be mad at me because I spoke incorrectly. Right. I know that a lot of people of color celebrate Kwanzaa, but I don't know. I don't know. I started around. I want to say the 60s or the 70s is when it started. Oh, but okay. I'm not positive, and so I don't want to. Yeah. But anyway, happy so. whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, and if you don't celebrate anything, happy holidays. Happy holidays, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And, and don't get stressed out, you guys. I I did everything easy this year. Mm-hmm. I didn't get stressed out. Bought everything. Mm-hmm. They're all going in tins. I bought tins, you guys. I bought these tins. And I just, Christmas tins. And I'm just putting them in there. And that's so it. That's easy packaging. Yep. Mm-hmm. So they'll all have a tin for Say, cookies. I, we're the easiest people for you to shop for, too, because you don't have to buy us anything. I know. <laughs> you have to give us even... money or gift cards. Yeah. There you go. I'm like. Dave's mom said, she's like, I hope you guys aren't disappointed and we're not buying you a lot because we don't want to give you stuff you have to either put in storage or take with you. Yeah. She, yeah. And That's I couldn't do it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah but so, whatever. I'm going to shake the table because Amber keeps getting, because uh, I'm shaking the table. Well, no, I was, yeah, maybe. How long were we on today? About an hour. That's not bad for three unboxings. I mean, for all your stuff. For all my stuff too. and your unboxings. Yeah. Should I whistle at everyone again? No. Oh, the other whistle. This is a pretty <laughs> Let me, let me cover one. There's take two that. different pitches. Oh, take that. Tell Dave to take that to, to China so he, he is, can whistle. That's, well, them. he bought these so he could take them to China. And he bought a pan flute and then he bought some maracas too. Oh. But I thought everyone knows what maracas are, so I don't yeah. need to show them. And a pan flute. Yeah, and the pan flute is like And that. pan flute isn't funny. When I think of a pan flute, I think of, um, oh my gosh, the lightning thief. Uh, Percy Jackson on the lightning oh, thief. Because mm-hmm. the little, his best friend, best friend. who was a... He was a satyr. A satyr. He had the, the pan, pan flute. flute. Yep. <laughs> and it's actually pan flutes are huge in like Greek mythology. They yeah. really are. Yeah. But yeah. The, so they make them apparently because they have bamboo there. And oh, you yeah. make pan flutes out of bamboo. Out of so bamboo. They have a lot of bamboo. Yeah. Was it muggy? Oh my gosh. I thought it was. We, the... I was damp for eight days. <laughs> <laughs> like when Robin moved to, to Louisville, Kentucky, she mm-hmm. said, I don't think I'll ever be dry again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and nobody had carpets. We didn't have, we had tile floor. We had like um, terracotta tile floor because it's always muggy. Oh yeah. So that would mold. mold. <laughs> I, at first I was like, this is weird. But then when I realized how much sand we were dragging in and our maid swept our floor every day because of the sand, I'm like, did you have a, a screen thing over your bed? No. For mosquitoes? Mm-hmm. Oh. I didn't get bit on my legs, but I think that was when we went to like Chichen Itza and um, the cenote. Oh, um, because I think there was like bugs around, but I don't think I got bit by mosquitoes. I think I got bit by either ants or spiders. And there's chiggers. I don't think they're chiggers because chiggers are like in Louisville, right? I mean, in, the in, in the south. I don't know if we get so. they get those in Mexico or not. Yeah, I don't know, but but you would know. I know. Yeah. Did you I take did bites. you take clear fingernail polish? I learned this. Um, clear fingernail polish. You just put it over like a, a mosquito bite or a chigger bite, and it it stops the itching. It somehow I've never pulls, heard that pull, in my is, entire life. NCIS New Orleans. Learned this on there. I've never heard that in my <laughs> life. You've never taught me this trick. I just learned it this oh, week. Okay. No. I'm, well, I'm binging on. Uh, I we got Paramount. Paramount. So, Paramount. So I've been binging on NCIS New Orleans. Um, it has all the years on it. I started binging on CSI, but it only had the first three years, and it jumps to season sixteen. So you so, gotta watch it on Hulu. Yeah, so I'm going to go watch it on Hulu. I've seen it before a million times, but you know, sometimes it's fun to to rewatch everything before you watch the newer things just mm-hmm. to kind of get caught up. But um yeah. 
and on the New Orleans one, I never knew what night it was on. So I never got to watch it. And then NCIS, I quit watching when Tony left. <laughs> it's hard to get new, used to new people, mm-hmm. you know? So, and yeah, so yeah. I almost quit when what's her name left? The um, Which one, Kate or? Uh... No, Kate was only on the first year. Um, I know, but um, still... the, the girl from Iran. Um, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I can't remember her name either. Yeah, her. I really liked her. But she actually was, she, when she left that, she went and appeared in a uh, Easter movie. She was Mary Magdalene. Oh. She, she, not Mary, yeah, either Mary Mary or Mary Mary the mother of God. One of those two. And she's so pretty. I mean, I really thought she was a pretty, and she can sing. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, okay. Little trivia. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So no, when at Rob at when Robin Amber Amber finally goes to China, it'll be fun from because she's gonna when they visit places, she's gonna. I mean, I'm I'm bringing my and I'm bringing stuff. my good camera too, my vlogging camera. So, okay. I have, remember I bought it when I was doing my card making stuff. I bought it in Kingman actually before I did card making oh, stuff. You might want to update and get a really nice I might, camera. I might end up upgrading eventually. Oh, I can probably nice. get a nicer one for cheaper in China. Oh, probably. So yeah, check that. Yeah. Yeah. Now is that vlogging camera a movie camera? Or you can do pictures? video and pictures. Oh, okay. So now since they're all digital, you can do both on them. Oh, okay. It just matters how big your SD card is and stuff too, how right. much you can fit on them. Right. But so, yeah, I'm looking yeah. into that. Mine mine is pretty good. Mine takes pretty good videos. Because I did the videos for my um, unboxing of my suitcases with them. With it. Oh, okay. And I that was a that. pretty good video. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not bad. So it's yeah. a good starter for it. Yeah. And you didn't take that to Cancun? No, I only took my phone. Because okay. I didn't want to worry about, because we only did check bags. I had a backpack and my carry-on. That was it. I mean, we didn't do any check bags. So I we minimized and we only took four days worth of clothing. And that's why we had to pay to have them wash our clothes while we were there. Um, which was a little expensive expensive. but you know it was also a convenience thing you could have taken it out and washed in the river what river (laughs) we were by the ocean i'm not gonna wash in the the ocean ocean. (laughs) how salty clothes Uh, i know i already had salty clothes (laughs) that's right there's salt water everywhere (laughs) but anyway anyway so so thank you for joining us thank you to our new subscribers if you're here visiting and you haven't subscribed please do subscribe um we are trying really hard to hit a thousand subscribers and please feel free to post this Mm -hmm. on your instagram on your i noticed someone mentioned and shared us on their instagram while we've been filming so thank thank you you. don't remember who it was oh it was brianne thank you you, thanks brie for sharing us yeah share us please we want to hit that thousand and we're gonna try to do a big giveaway which may be a giveaway done from you here and me in China, depending on when that happens. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I can include some Chinese things in it. Yeah. Send me a box once in a while. Mm-hmm. And if she sends me a box once in a while, I'll do that boxing in law. Yeah. Because we'll have to do split screen again, of mm-hmm. course. And I'll probably, we'll probably have to pre-film it. We may not be able to do lives. Yeah. Because we, over the great firewall. Yeah. We don't know what China is mm-hmm. videos. But I like. can, we can do zoom still and I can record it to my computer. Oh, okay. Because with this, it's much easier than my PC was. Oh, okay. To save it to there the computer, go, guys. So, so we're gonna learn. So, we thought we'd be doing China by now, but <laughs> but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Life is crazy. At least Dave and I get to have a last Christmas in the U.S. together with yes. everyone. Yes. So. Are you guys gonna come home at Christmas every year? Or no? Are you we gonna have enough time? Summer? Maybe I don't know. But with COVID going on, I don't know if COVID is still going on next summer. Like. I mean, of course, COVID's going to be here forever, but I don't mean it like that, but like COVID restrictions and stuff, because it's hard to get back into the country. We'll have to do another two week quarantine when we come back. Uh, so yeah. you have to set aside and the time to, to be able to do two that week when you get there. So you, that's a month, two weeks here. Quarantine. No, no. Here we wouldn't do a quarantine. The U.S. doesn't require quarantine. You just have to have your vaccination and you have to have your negative COVID test within 24 hours. Oh, OK. Just because I've been back for less than two weeks. If I had to quarantine for two weeks, I'd still be in quarantine. Oh, that's right. Because you guys came from Mexico. So we just had to have weeks. the negative COVID test. And we didn't have to have our vaccination cards. They didn't even look at our vaccination cards because they just changed it to everyone requiring the 24-hour test. Oh, okay. Before it was unvaccinated had to be within 72 hours and vaccinated had to be within 24 hours. Okay. Gotcha. But now everyone is 24 hours. Right. But yeah. So I don't know. So anyway, yes. Thank you again. And we'll see you guys hopefully in two weeks. Um, and I'll try to get that video posted this weekend. Well, we're going to see the Forgotten Carols tonight. No, so that's this gonna... weekend is. 
Oh, this, by the end of you're this. You're going tonight to see the Yeah. Party? Oh, so the Forgotten Carol is a real big thing here. It's, it's really a neat mm -hmm. um, play type musical that they put on every year at Christmas. It's a, um, yeah, it's a Michael, Christmas show. Michael McLean. Michael McLean. Puts who on. is a. And he couldn't put it on last year or the year before because, because of COVID. COVID. So he's real excited about it mm -hmm. this year. So we're excited about seeing that. Yeah. So. So. Okay. So, so anyway, everybody have a good one. Have a good Christmas. Don't eat too much. Mm -hmm. and, and Jill knows who her winner is. Oh, good. So, so she'll get you the info when she posts her video. So make sure you oh, guys great. watch Jill's new video to yeah. see who won who mom's won. yarn. Yeah. My Christmas. Yes. Uh, Harry Potter Christmas yarn. Wizard and witches. Christmas Wizard and witches. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Okay, you guys. And thank you. Thanks.